Hi, this is Barb. Um, I wanted to do something a little different right now. I was looking through um, some of my sketchbooks and I thought this might be fun to go through um, one of them to see kind of what I use for uh, my sketchbooks. When I go somewhere, I always like to take something along. Um, this one I've been taking with us uh, when we started camping just a few years ago. It's a little watercolor journal. It's very small, compact, fits well in my, my purse or my backpack. And then I went ahead and um, picked up a little, see if I can get it open. Yeah, I can. This is a, tie, a little travel kit that I found at one of the art stores, art and, arts and crafts supply stores. I think it was, well, it was either Michael's or um, Hobby Lobby, to be honest, one of those. But um, I got this because I could change out the pans after I used them up. You can buy individual colors as needed. It came with a little brush, um, my little palette there. This is for dipping in water. I even have... I even picked up, this is cool, this is a, the water is stored in here, whoops, sorry, that was too close. The water is stored down in here, so it, it doesn't spill, and you can, you can squirt out a little water here, see that, and then, then you got it ready to use, I guess it helps if I, if I have it in the frame. So you can pick up the colors you want. There, that's a little bit easier to see. And um, they had different sizes of this part, separate pins. I don't know. I didn't really look that hard. You probably can get individual brushes to change this out, or it might. If you do use these quite often, it might be easier just to get different ones ready to go for you. So that's one option. And then to clean the brush, let's see, you just squirt more water out and then just kind of rinse it. And there you go, you've, you've cleaned it. So that's really neat. So I like to take that when we go go out camp, um, to a lake or where I'm going to see some wildlife or something fun to work on. Sometimes I've taken, if i have working on a, an art online course, I will take, like one time I took, went ahead and took my computer along where the lessons were on and There we go, stop. And um, went ahead and worked on different things. So let, let me see, so for like that example, um, I was working on different characters. It was a character lesson. So I had, that's what I had this was about. And this one was a Shirley Temple type lesson. So I was able to use um, everything I brought. I, this, of course, this book, and it is just a mixed media, mixed media, um, little spiral notebook. You can use acrylic, watercolor, pen, pencil. So that's what I worked with on there. And this, of course, this little zipper pouch, pencil pouch. I have a couple. These are. Just some watercolor pencils. Artist Loft is this brand. It's whatever you guys want to try to use. I, I'm not endorsing anything here. Um, a little eraser. These are nice to get all those pencil marks out. I have the pink eraser. But sometimes 
I don't know the oil or whatever if it's from maybe the oil from my hands gets on this and then they their dark areas can smear I think possibly don't quote me on that but and then I also take a I have a little I don't have it in here at the moment I have a little compact um, battery operated pencil sharpener that I can sharpen these with real easy there's some couple more laying out <laughs> have things everywhere you can get things in a kit with you know with one of these I could throw that in there which I might do because I might forget the other thing next time we go out um, a lot of times you will get even a kneaded eraser these are good for um, if you're doing lots of pencil work charcoal work these are good for that and what you do is you as you warm it up with your hands kneading it um, then you use it so that's kind of fun in itself so yeah this is what I use this for and here my our daughter graduated from college last year so I did this in the camper we took our camper up so we wouldn't have to mess with the hotel room and we took our dog so that made it easier for us and we got to sit outside or this was in the evening in the camper here I was working on body type a, a lesson looks like so hands always learning here's some hand studies different types for character designs back to this watercolor field journal I, I really like how this stays open see I can get to a new page and it stays open fairly well I mean it's wanting to do that because these are stiffer now but this 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 rubber band or um, elastic band is really nice so once everything is dry in here I can do that and um, it helps flatten those papers out I can throw it back in my my backpack and otherwise you can see that these paper fibers want to expand when when they're wet I mean that's natural um, so here is some things uh, this is a lot of water type pictures I don't have a pond in my backyard so <laughs> this is kind of nice hope you can see this so this is the horizon working on the sky with the horizon line with the water which is which is level right and just to get some of that water movement as it's coming up towards the shore here a little bit of greenery in a, in my picture here this was in one of our Kansas lakes county lakes uh, playing around with different colors for the water this was a more daytime different type of time of day also and this one's setting up this is looking out outside our camper other tents that we had next to us and this, this little guy here running around with his um Captain America I think it was pajamas yet so is that breakfast um, we drove around um, one of our state lakes and there was a, a sail boat um, so that's something cool I don't see every day. Usually you see like a fishing boat or um, uh, somebody on skis you might see your inner tube pulling kind of thing. So that was kind of neat, different colors to see. And of course the kayaks. So this, this here was, um, we took a trip almost you two years almost two years ago to um, South Dakota and 
driving through this looks like that kind of looks like water but this part here I think was when we were driving through Nebraska to, there was a out in the country we had a pumpkin patch with the corn maze set up right there that was kind of cool and we went to visit the Badlands, their state park, or was it a national park? Anyway, there was a buffalo, a bison there. And I take lots of pictures and then you can use them as references when you get back to where you can... That way you don't miss a lot if you're trying to, to sketch things right away. If there's lots of moving around. There was just some ideas I was working on in the car. So yeah, that's what I use mine for. Um, practicing different animals. This is one from a night photo, or looking out the window of our camera at night, of our camper at night. There was a full moon, so I was working on my reflection. I feel like I could have done more here, but it's a good practice starting point. So that's what that is, I use that for. Sometimes when you're starting out and you have to look up for references a lot, um, I created this one. These are good size for me to store, store collections of things was just a little it was an art lesson I was following on a YouTube lesson and I was just using marker for that so here I was looking for um, different flower scenes things for spring and I just printed out small reference photos and taped them in here you can um, set these up as in different categories. So here's like galvanized and beauty. So like um, anything metal-like. Um, you can just put your different references. And then when you're working on a project, you can just go through here and get some like, quick ideas since you did the work already. Here's some more fun ones with old treks and pumpkins. Here's some little um, little sketch ideas. Some of these have turned into paintings. This one has for sure. And the bicycle I have I have used like the front half of, of the bicycle and then I've used the back half and then so you can just get lots of ideas. There's a collection of some cardinals, different shapes. So yeah, that's what that one's for. So I thought that would just be good to, if you are thinking about looking for different references, that that's a good way to get started.